everyone, I'm Emily, and I work in the Children's Department at the Defiance Public Library. Today I'm going to share with you some of our new graphic novels that are available for you to check out. George and Harold's Epic Comics Collection by Meredith Russo. George and Harold are back, and they're making new comics starring their favorite superhero, Captain Underpants. George and Harold's Epic Comics Collection contains their favorite stories about the biggest baddies, nastiest naysayers, and feistiest fart monsters. Check out George and Harold's Epic Comics Collection to read over 20 comics featuring Captain Underpants. Unicorn and Yeti, Cheer Up! Written by Heather Aris Burnell and illustrated by Hazel Kitania. Join Unicorn and Yeti in three short stories. First, in the gift, Unicorn gets Yeti a gift. What could it be? Yeti feels bad for not getting Unicorn a gift. Unicorn tells Yeti to cheer up. She didn't expect a gift from Yeti in return. Gifts are just for fun. Next, in Burr, Unicorn and Yeti are munching on icicles, but Unicorn gets really, really cold. What can Yeti to do to warm her up? Yeti starts to knit. Yeti knits Unicorn a hat, then a scarf, mittens, leg warmers, and a bodysuit. Unicorn is finally warm enough, but Yeti keeps on knitting. What could Yeti be making? Finally, in the last story, let's go. Unicorn and Yeti go for a hike down a trail that leads to a forest. Unicorn does not enjoy their hike through the forest. Unicorn thinks it's too dark and that everything looks blah. This is Yeti's favorite part of the forest. Unicorn flops down into the snow. And when she does, Unicorn sees the forest in a new way. To read all about Unicorn and Yeti's adventures, read Cheer Up by Heather Ayres Burnell. The Runaway Princess, written by Johan Trinowski. Princess Robin is excited about the aquatic carnival and sneaks out of the castle so she can attend. Robin takes a shortcut through the woods where she meets four brothers who have been abandoned in the woods. Robin is determined to help them. Robin and the brothers go on adventures featuring mermaids, pirates, kidnappings, and a candy house. To read about Robin's adventure, check out The Runaway Princess by Johan Tranowski. Shirley and Jamila save their summer by Jillian Gortz. Jamila has just moved to a new neighborhood with her parents and two older brothers. Jamila's mom wants her to attend a science camp over the summer. Jamila would rather be playing basketball at the court that's just five blocks from her house. One day, Jamila meets Shirley. Shirley's mom is also sending her to camp for the summer, and like Jamila, Shirley does not want to go. Shirley comes up with a plan and is able to convince their parents that they do not need to go to summer camp. Instead, both girls can hang out as long as they follow the rules set by their parents. Jamila is able to play basketball while Shirley just hangs around the court. One day, a boy named Oliver comes seeking help from Shirley to find his missing gecko. Jamila discovers that Shirley is a kid's detective and that she has been spending her time solving cases. Helping Oliver means that Jamila and Shirley will have to leave the basketball court, breaking the rules set by their parents. Do Jamila and Shirley take the case? If they do, are they able to find Oliver's missing gecko? Find out in Shirley and Jamila Save Their Summer by Jillian Gorse.